loaded up with fellow beer.
Did you last see it? A few weeks ago. What's that? Mm, your head coming out. Did I feel you inside when I came out? Did I feel my feet in you? Yeah, you felt your feet in me, your skin against me, your head. You didn't know what it was. You didn't know what it was. You didn't say this is my mother, but you felt you felt me as you came out, and you probably wondered what was happening to you. Oh. And we're probably very scared, don't you think? I don't know. Well, I think you were terrified, wondering what was happening to you, and felt like you couldn't breathe. Oh, no, you don't breathe until they cut the cord anyway. You probably were afraid you were going to die. You probably were afraid you were going to die. With all that pressure on your head. And then when you saw this big room all full of light, it probably hurt your eyes. In fact, it was probably the worst thing that ever happened to you so far. It sounded like a boy. Miss or there. That's a little girl, baby. Oh, look at the way they're look at the way he's treating you. Isn't it awful? Isn't it just awful? How did you turn out to be so unneurotic after a 
introduction into the world like that. Look at the way he's treating you. Isn't that disgusting? God, look at that. From being in the womb to being thrown up near like a fish. Just like that and then tossed onto somebody's body, isn't it? Just like that and then tossed onto somebody's body. Isn't that awful? Doesn't look like me. I don't know. It seems boring now. Because I don't remember um, what I what it was like when I first saw it. But have you enjoyed doing all this videotaping with your dad? Yes. Which is your favorite piece of videotape that he's done? Um... The birth. The birth. The birth. Because it's exciting. And it's fun to watch. Because you see how you and how you were born and everything. <laughs> She became so used to being taped, she would start demanding to be taped. She would get an idea and say, I'm going to do something, turn on the tape. She began asking questions. She came home from school in Connecticut and said to me, these kids don't know anything. And they think babies are born in cauliflowers, they think the storks bring them. But I know everything because I've seen it all on videotape. You know, you're going to ask me if I don't think I've dramatized. Oh, that's what my mother accuses me of. She, when she looked at the tape of the verse, she said, Oh, stop dramatizing. Of the verse, she said, Oh, stop dramatizing. Oh, stop dramatizing. But I never felt like I was dramatizing any more than I would feel... It's dramatizing me. ...making more of, out of something than it is. Oh. Heightening it, like... Like, you know how Barbara Steele talks? Oh, I had a perfectly horrendous day. You can't imagine what happened to me. Oh, I had a perfectly horrendous day. You can't imagine what happened to me. Uh. I never felt that I was dramatizing any more than I ordinarily do, being an actress, after all. I've always been a rather self-dramatic. Though, it's other people who say you're dramatizing. To me, I always seem to be telling a story exactly the way it happened or expressing. I think it's not that I'm dramatizing, I think it's that everyone else is depressed. And repressed and constipated. <laughs> Everyone else gets no fun out of life. <laughs> but, so I seem to be dramatizing when in reality I'm merely reacting to an incredible world that I can't believe. <laughs> Coming down. 
Originally a woman shoe illustrator who worked for Bonwitz, and then he paid some head of two fans, went on to fame and fortune and glory. Watch your step, a man here is trying to make the pairs, I think, of a little wet coat. And on the next floor, we're going to see the apartment where William Burroughs wrote Naked Lunch. Naked Lunch was quite an uh, important uh, seminal uh, writing. When the first time it came out, it was just very, very scandalous. Today, a book like that is really sort of called the race of blush on the cheek of the end of the view, because they say that you're you tell me what you're going to do with this meeting. It's just a, a, a film song of stuff. Um, bread it. Bread it and fry it. Why does it taste like mush? Well, it depends on it. I, uh, I don't know. 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 I don't If they give you a big chicken rice egg and a big thing of mashed potatoes and a big thing of some kind of beans or peas. Oh, yeah. Well, mashed potatoes and beans are my favorite. Yeah. So we're right in the middle of dinner now. It's pretty weird. Andy Warhol is wearing a pair of headphones which he brought with him and hasn't taken off since he left. William Burroughs is looking for the best. He's wearing a beautiful pearl gray suit and Warhol is looking for the best dressed man in New York and he admires his Warhol and admires it. Burroughs, slightly bemused past by this kind of chic approach, has given Warhol a copy of his new book, City of the Red Knight, a proof copy. What? Wait, can you do a drawing? Oh, yes. Oh. And it's just drawn, signed in it, and drawn a painting. Warhol is telling Burroughs to be a painter. Oh, 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 oh,
more and more. I'm just going to get a little bit under here. Go on. I'll get back to you in a few minutes and let you know what else is going on. Don't tell Henry to come. The sun does scream when I walk over him. That's for enticing me with you. But I can't. But I can't. Please, you can. The insects on the leaves scream as I walk by. They scream, take me with you. But I can't. But I can't. It's true. You can't. The bottles in the shop scream when I see me. They scream. But I can't, but I can't. You can't. I have no room for stones, insects, bottles. It's true. I have only a real small place to live in. I have no room for them. It's true. You don't have the room for them. Une fois en dessous de ce mètre. Avant l'autre chongou, ni moi la naissance. Ça, moi, je suis une très difficile quand je me réveille en Le maire du vent du sang, le maire du vent du sang, ta vieille contrat électronique, sauvage, le maire sans le donneur des îles en Indien, Link. Tu es une moi, très d'un fils du vent, c'est mon loi d'astron. Et moi la son, que ton. Notre vie, pas de si tombe, voilà. Chant, la cruvignance, c'est un homme. La rougeur, tu vas dans ses bois, comme il est. Le trait d'avis, sans soi. Merde, cadeau, train, dansant, les mers, ayant son guernos. Le patron de quoi le France? Nios, nios, nios. Quatre vues de bang, nios, nios, ça vire. Et à quoi la mer du vent? Pour les cantons, si tu mets les bons, la mer ça vire, trap, tout bas jour, très bas jour, très bas jour. A triple défense à moi, le parti P, la messe dont su, pas des pots, pas des pots, pas des pots, pas des pots, pas des soudois sont, calvin de pied, la main résistant, la main sophie, connu fadogne, gagne signe, ce moi ce moigne, roi trignant, le maire du vent de sa verdigant. That was great. Yeah. That was for you. Mm. There were 17 seagulls on the beach, and they never fly before. Like them now, like them now. There were 17 seagulls on the beach, never flight like this before. Have you ever seen a seagull flying like this on the beach? 
have you ever seen a seagull flying on the beach like this? And they fly like they never did before. And they fly like they never, like they never did before. Oh, there's a woman. I don't know 
Which way they go? I don't know. Which way they go? Nou, ik weet niet of ze vrouw te zien is. Ik denk dat hij te klein is. Hij is een beetje kort. Oh, nou is hij niet te klein. Nee. Nee, ik had schreven nog groter, maar nee. Nee. Thank you. 